If you charge more, even just a little bit, than other photographers in your area, or you're thinking about making that move, then you need to watch this video. I'm going to be talking about what you must be doing if you want potential clients to choose you over your cheaper competition. Before we get into that, I want you to imagine yourself in this scenario. So you're looking for a garden shed. You really know nothing about sheds except that you want one. So you go searching for companies that sell garden sheds in your area, right? Now you probably have a vague idea of the size you might like, but you probably don't have at this point, an idea of what this might cost you. That's why you're doing some research to get an idea of what's available and what the prices are. So you find a shed that looks pretty good. It's the size that you're looking for and it seems to be a reasonable price. But like any good modern consumer, you keep searching for a little while longer in case there's something better or cheaper. Soon you come across another garden shed on a different website. It's the same size and it looks so similar to the first one, but it's double the price. Now, you're not a shed expert. To your untrained eye, these sheds look the same. When you look at the description, there's nothing to explain why the second shed is more expensive. Looking at the website, there's nothing really to distinguish one from the other. How are you feeling right now about that second shed? Are you going to inquire about that second shed? Of course you're not. Depending on the type of person you are, you might even be a little bit angry about the scandalous price of that second shed. Okay, so let's rewind a little bit. This time, when you come across the second more expensive shed, you are immediately hit by how much more impressive this website is. It loads so fast, it's so attractive and user-friendly, there are gorgeous pictures, and last but not least, there is lots of information available to you. You learn from this information that this particular shed, yes, is a little more expensive, but it's made from Scandinavian pine rather than the inferior wood that lots of cheaper sheds are constructed from. This means it's super sturdy and it's built to last a long time. You also learn that this shed is treated and painted in such a way that it's going to withstand the particular climate that you live in and it's going to look amazing for years and years to come. Not just that, you read that it's assembled in the local area and not overseas and that the company in question value their staff and they pay them a good wage. You might then go on to read about the company's commitment to serving you in the best way possible because it's right there on the website. And you can't ignore the scores and scores of glowing testimonials from past happy customers. So how are you feeling about that second shed now? Don't get me wrong, maybe you are bargain hunting and you're still going to go for the first shed. Maybe you could not care less about the wood and the paint and whether the staff are paid well, but at least you don't feel quite so confused about the cost of that second shed, that's for sure. You're now in a position to make a more educated choice, whatever that choice may be. Now, if you do opt for that second more expensive shed, it means that you value those things. That company spoke to your values. You care about how it will look in 10 years time. You care that they're paying their staff good money. These things are important to you and you're willing to pay more for them. Hopefully you see where I'm going with this. Did I just use sheds to make you think of your photography? Yeah, I did. Look. I know that you want your potential clients to see that your photography is better than your cheaper competition. But the reality is that often they don't. They don't have a trained eye like you do. And they probably think that you're both more than good enough for their requirements. 
And maybe your photography isn't better. Maybe it's a similar standard. Does that mean that you cannot charge more? No way. What you charge is about so much more than how skilled you are. So why would they choose you if you're going to charge them more? Depressing, right? Well, no, actually, it's not because it's really very simple to convince someone who's willing to spend more to spend more. But you need to give them a reason, just like with that second shed. So ask yourself this question. Why should a potential client choose to engage your photography services instead of your cheaper competition? What makes your service and product the best choice for them? They cannot guess. They need to be told. In fact, they need that information to be so obvious that there is no missing it. But how do you do that? Well, first of all, let's think about that second shed again. That company didn't go about convincing potential clients to buy their more expensive shed by making the other company sound bad. They didn't say, other sheds in the area fall apart, ours don't. Or other shed sellers don't paint their sheds with the right stuff, we do. All of that, that would have just made them sound like they had massive chips on their shoulder. They also didn't go banging on about themselves and how amazing they were. What they did instead was they just enthusiastically talked about all the great reasons why buying from them is actually the right thing for you. And that's what you need to do. If you're more expensive than your competition, then you need to be better than them in some way. And you need to make sure that you let your potential clients know that. Don't just let them know on your website. You need this to be everywhere. You need to shout it from the rooftops. They can't miss it. There are so many ways that you can make your business a much better option despite the higher price, particularly for that client who is actually willing to spend a little more for the right service and the right product. It's all about differentiation. So here are some ways that you could differentiate yourself from your cheaper competition. So whilst your cheaper competition has very generic branding, you could make sure you Yours is that little bit more high end and luxury. Whilst your cheaper competition reply to inquiries within a couple of days, you could make sure that you reply within a couple of hours. Whilst your cheaper competition send out a standard response to emails, you could make sure you phone each potential client, get to know them, talk them through the amazing experience that they're going to have with you. Whilst your cheaper competition send out bullet points of information, you could make sure that you send out a beautifully designed e-brochure or a real brochure which answers every question your potential client might have. Whilst your cheaper competition sells standard prints or digital files, you could make sure that you offer something much more special. Wall art for the home and maybe even a custom wall display design service as part of the experience. Whilst your cheaper competition don't bother with a contract, you could make sure that you have one so that your client feels that they're dealing with a professional business person who will not let them down. Whilst your cheaper competition doesn't talk to their client until the shoot, you can make sure that you talk to them at length beforehand. You can advise them on what they should wear, you can ask them about their family, and you can talk to them about what they want to do with their images. Whilst your cheaper competition send out a USB in a padded envelope, you could make sure that you package up your products beautifully and fully brand them and maybe even hand deliver them. Whilst your cheaper competition end the relationship with a client after delivery, you could maintain and nurture that relationship with thank you cards, Christmas cards, and surprise vouchers in the post. Whilst your cheaper competition have a couple of bland testimonials, you could have lots and lots of detailed, personal, and glowing praise 
everywhere from past clients who are exactly like the people you want to work with. Whilst your cheaper competition has a slow, poorly designed and confusing website, you could make sure that yours is fast, attractive and super easy to navigate. Honestly, I could go on, but we'd be here all day. Do you need to do all of that? No, it really depends how much more expensive you actually are. One small change at a time is always the best way. And did I say earlier that it was simple to convince someone to spend more money? Yes, I did. But I didn't say it was easy. Because what's simple is not always easy. It takes a whole heap of hard, hard graft to be better than your cheaper competition and to prove it to people. To deliver a service that's worthy of higher prices is a lot of work. But if you're willing to put that hard work in, then you are going to be rewarded both financially and emotionally. So of course, be more expensive if you want, but don't expect anyone to choose you unless you are differentiating yourself in a few key ways and proving that you're worth it. Let me know in the comments whether you agree or not and if you have anything else to add and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos. Bye for now. Are you a portrait photography business owner? Or maybe you're just thinking about starting up. Now running your own photography business can be hugely exciting and so rewarding, but it can also be overwhelming, stressful and lonely. If you're looking to truly up your game and create a business that makes your heart sing and makes you money, then you should check out our Togs in Business membership. As a member of Togs in Business, you'll benefit from regular online training sessions, courses, live mastermind calls, expert guest webinars, challenges, and you can be part of an engaged community of like-minded business owners. We talk marketing, pricing, workflow, websites, customer experience, and everything else you need to master to be a successful and profitable professional portrait photographer. Check us out at togsinbusiness.com.